Say no, right? Wow, how'd you know? Just a lucky guess. So the next thing I know, I'm over here fish sitting, thinking of all the things I could have been doing. So what's the problem, Raymond? I can't find the little suckers. They took off. You can't find the fish? No. And the neighbors are going to be home any minute. Raymond, fish don't just take off. Not disciplined fish. Right. And another thing. Yeah. How do you discipline a fish? Raymond, are you sure they were even there to begin with? Oh, they were there, all right. Man, we were just having a blast. How can you have a blast with a fish? Well, first I fed them. Y you didn't feed them too much, did you? No, just one turkey pot pie apiece, and that was it. And some milk. And then chocolate cake, and that's it. Oh, Raymond! So then they started to just lay around, you know? Yeah. So I decided to liven things up a bit. You know, give them some exercise to work off that chocolate cake. What'd you do, Raymond? I put the electric egg beater in to get the water moving. Oh, no! Oh, it was a riot. I put it on puree. That's when they took off, I guess, because I haven't seen them since. Well, first of all, Raymond... Uh-oh. What's wrong? They're home. The fish? No, my neighbors. What am I going to tell him? Raymond? Hello? Raymond? Raymond? Ah, oh, prairie poop. You're listening to Buffalo Dick's Radio Rant. What? Well, if you listened in a few weeks ago, you might have heard the play that my little buddy Buffalo Chip wrote. Well, we all acted out the parts, but we never finished because Chip had to go to the restroom. So this week, we're going to give you the second installment of Buffalo Chip's very own play, Please Don't Eat the Stranger. <laughs> Dr. Strange, where are you? Uh, I'm asleep on the couch. How could you sleep at a time like this? I'm tired. So am I, but we have to find the body before the police do. Where, oh, where could it have disappeared to? Did you check the attic? No. Did you check the cellar? No. Did you check all the rooms? Uh-uh. Did you check anywhere at all? No. On account, I was asleep on the couch. Must I do everything by myself? What would we do if suddenly the police arrived? Well, let's find out. It's the police. Act natural, just act natural. Captain, how good to see you. Weren't you just here less than an hour ago? I guess I was. I feel a little lightheaded, though. I forgot why I was here. You was looking for a dead body. Oh, so I was. Look, there's something coming through the window. I thought it'd never get here. It's a note. What does it say? say? It says, be sure and read the other note. What other note? That, that other note. note. Uh, it says here... Message not ready. Read the next note. Something fishy is going on here. There's the note. It says, please stand by. The difficulty you are receiving is not the fault of your window. That's good to know. So anybody, uh, anybody got the time? Yeah, it's another note. Uh, could you be a little more specific? I'm setting my watch. What's this note say? It says the next note is a real doozy. Well, then, I guess we'll have to wait. I got, I got me ten pine toes to wiggle in the sand. Snap to my Uh oh. No, no. I'm the captain. I'll read it. It says. It says. Sorry, wrong window. Holy doodle. Um, whose line is it? I haven't got any more lines. Me neither. Come to think of it, neither have I. That's all I wrote so far. You mean that's it? There's no ending? Ending? This is just the beginning, Dick Baby. It may take years to finish such a masterpiece as this. Thanks for the warning. Stay tuned for the continuing saga of Please Don't Eat the Stranger. Well, thank you, little buddy, for sharing your play with us. You're very welcome. You're listening to Buffalo Dick's Radio Ranch. With us today is an artist who's going to show us all how to do oil painting. So let's have a great big Radio Ranch welcome for Hans Hagenmeister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, Dick. Hello there, Chipper. Oh, hi. And hi to all you beautiful buckaroos out there. 
And for all you moms and dads out there in Radio Land, <coughs> go watch Fantasy Island or something. Because this show's not for you. Right, Dick? Well, boy, you just fit right in, Mr. Hagenmeister. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, and like that. So you're a painter, and you're going to show us how to paint a picture, huh? That's right, my fellow Dick. I thought that today we might try to paint a dirty picture. Would you kids like to paint a dirty picture? Yeah! Okay, well, first we'll paint the clouds. Happy little clouds. See how happy they are? Um, how close up is this dirty picture? Oh, don't worry, Buffalo Dick. It'll be close up. I just happen to do clouds real good, so I put them in all my pictures. Even the indoor painting, like this bowl of fruit. See how pretty that clouds look? Beautiful. It's interesting how you have it raining over that banana there. Thank you. I, I like that too, Dick. Uh, and see how it's complemented with that twister just ripping through the grate? Mm, mm, mm. So I put clouds in all my paintings. There we go. Okay, now let's work on the others. All right. Uh, a lot of artists like to call these paintings nudes, but who are they kidding, Dick? I call it a dirty picture. <laughs> it's more fun to paint a dirty picture than just a nude. Remember that. Yeah, I will. Also, after I paint the clouds, I like to paint the dirty parts. <laughs> It lets me know I'm still alive. Yeah, right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, when you paint, always say beautiful. It helps you to think you're doing a good job. Even if it sucks rotten eggs, say beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, your paintings are not so beautiful. There, there's also a point when you shouldn't say beautiful. Okay, now this is the part of the, uh, the others that need extra special detail. You're pushing kind of hard on that canvas, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm all right. <laughs> there you see, Dick. It's supposed to happen like that. What happened? Well, I got a little excited around the nipple part. Uh, if you just joined us, we're just painting baby bottles. What baby bottles? We're painting dirty pictures here. Luckily, I have a finished painting right here so you can see what a beautiful painting this would have been. Uh, let me get it here. There, see? A cow! Beautiful. Well, it's time for a report from the Buffalo Dick Chopper. Uh, eye in the sky. Gig Whirly, are you there? Gig Whirly! Gig! What's up? I know what the problem is, Buffalo Dick. What's that, little buddy? He's listening to his Walkman. His what? You know, his stereo headphones. He can't hear you, just the music. Oh, that's a fine how do you do. What are we going to do for a traffic Kick report? Oh, listen to that. Say, hey, Mr. Dick, I just took a look outside and traffic looks okay. Ain't no jams or nothing. Thanks, Buster. But we hardly ever have too many traffic problems here at the ranch. Oh, I don't know about that. Remember that time back in 78 when that pickup truck had a flat? That was a real mess. It was one pickup, and there wasn't a traffic problem. Yeah, but it was out there for hours. Before you got off your duff and decided to help that poor lady. Yeah, and it was his mom, too. She loves dirty. Where the heck are those guys? Gig, gig, come in. Oh, this is ridiculous. Sounds more like the Eagles to me. Huh? Don't they know I have a traffic report to do? Hey, hey Gig! What? Would you mind giving us a traffic report? Well, it's about time. This traffic report is brought to you by two brothers who sell roach clips. Two brothers who sell roach clips? The heck is a roach clip? Sounds like a birth control device for roaches or something. Gig, you're a pork. Well, the traffic seems to be blowing pretty well down there, Dick. A nine-car pileup? Where'd you see that? Well, it, it was uh, during a Bob Seger tune, which was about ten minutes ago, which is about uh, 40. It's about uh, the south side of town somewhere. I don't know. Where on the south side? I don't know, Dick. I've been everywhere. Uh-oh. I see a fire truck. Let's follow it. See where it takes us. Well, no, Dick. I don't think you're supposed to do that. It's roaring down Main Street with a tremendous piston bitter. Oh, wait a minute. It just stopped in front of a house. I don't see any smoke. Doggone it, it's probably something stupid like a burner on the stove that's acting up.